today on Trend. Ingrid proudly shows off this Beach Drive beauty. I'll help you light up your life. Things get hot at West Bay Mechanical. Amy. Thank you. Wow. I've been itching to get into this house and see what it's all about inside. Isn't this just a real gem of a oh. Oak Bay Jewel? It is just a, a perfect example of how a cottage style meets modern design, which mm -hmm. was the theme of this homeowner and she really nailed it. Well, and it's funny because it's beautiful and grand, but like you said, just those kind of cottage touches really add the warmth to the space. And this was a real interesting uh, undertaking and project. This lot sat for years, um, just totally overgrown and neglected. Empty, no house on it. No house on it. And mm -hmm. some majestic century old, old growth Douglas fir trees were being choked by the ivy. And, and oh. really the best thing that happened to those trees was this thoughtful and conscious design, which took into consideration saving those trees mm -hmm. and, and building the home and the surrounding gardens around their root structure and protecting their heritage significance. Well, one of the design features that I really love are these black frame windows because they just sort of act as a picture frame for the exterior. You're absolutely right. And that was a real conscious effort, again, with the overall theme of this home to, to bring the outdoors in and, mm -hmm. and to really have that relaxed uh, environment where you can easily entertain a large group inside or spill off to the outdoors and really just enjoy all that, this private setting that's beautiful. Offers. I can't help to look up. This, these beams are stunning. And this was a real interesting scope of the design element. Steve Smith from SE Smith Building was the lead contractor and he searched high and low for some unique product and eventually found these in a stack which originally came from the old historic Woodward's building. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. amazing. So these old growth timbers really speak to the statement of, again, providing that balance between traditional Oak Bay English charm mm -hmm. with the modern elements that we're seeing um, emerging in the design world right now. And let's talk about some of these finishes because the finishes in here are top notch. They're not just, you know, builder grade. <laughs> Definitely, and again, that was a, a, an attention to detail that the homeowners were very conscious of to uh, building in that beautiful custom uh, buffet mm -hmm. and just the elegance of the integrated concealed fridge yes. and just the size of this eight and a half foot quartz granite countertop mm -hmm. island. It just um, makes you want to entertain and, and just really in, enjoy all that this home offers. This layout really is conducive to all different types of family scenarios, whether it's a couple or a family, I think it really suits anyone. And that was a very conscious design choice as well, and the homeowner worked with Ryan Hoyt Designs, just creating such an inviting mm -hmm. space and very efficiently designed as well. It um, is. Not only from the interior space where you've got the master on the main floor mm -hmm. with a beautiful uh, adjoining ensuite. Mm -hmm. And it really has room for the whole family. You can just put the kids upstairs and have this as your open concept, entertaining living space. And just again, the, the flexibility, um, mm -hmm. you can entertain your grandchildren or if you are an executive couple with a busy family, there's room in the lower level for um, either in-law or your nanny right and it just really offers such a, um, a diverse type of homeowner that could enjoy this space mm -hmm. as well this design really is my dream home I could almost picture it in a magazine and you're absolutely right Amy it was featured in Boulevard's oh. uh, 2016 issue and really speaks to the, the the quality and presentation where it was warranted to, to put the homeowners vision in print and mm -hmm. and have it featured it really just is so great. It has a nice flow to it. It's, it's not stark like a lot of the white homes out there. It has the touches of black and the texture of the wood that really just pulls it all together. 
So the writer for Boulevard really picked up on that, that with the coolness and neutrality of the white walls, it never feels stark and it still no. has that cozy feel. And grand elegance. A couple design features that I really picked up on in here are the mantle. They've tied that rough wood in with the beams and really broken up the tile in the fireplace. It really warms it up. It really just is a, a great uh, combination and including the charcoal tilt and turn European windows. Oh, I love them. They're know, so they cool. Beautiful? And they're, they're, you are maybe seeing that come more and more into mm -hmm. um, trend now, but this definitely is timeless. And then they did a drywall return as opposed to putting a chunky trim or something on the window. So it really focuses and it just looks nice and clean and elegant. Mm -hmm. And then pairing it with the beautiful linen drapery, they could have those pulled for privacy and it still allows the light to filter in. And that really speaks to the picture perfect location too. You're just a block from the ocean front and you've got great parks right within walking distance, quality mm -hmm. schools. This is such a desirable neighborhood. And South Folk Bay will always have that charm and that draw for unique quality homes. That, as I mentioned, marries that tradition of uh, English charm and modern mm -hmm. elegance. And, and I really think that this home is a, a true testament to that. One thing that I really love is that tulip tree. And I'm glad you mentioned that. The tulip tree really has a special significance here. That was a, a work of art in terms of designing the garage foundation around it where it was cantilevered for oh. a portion to actually protect the root structure. So that again is the dedication and commitment that the whole team brought to this unique project. Right, and I think that you don't always recognize how much work actually goes into the planning stage. And that definitely dictates, I think, the quality and the passion and the spirit of this just incredible home. Marilyn, you guys have so much product available in your showroom. Tell us a little bit about all of this window coverings behind you. Yeah, we do. We're very proud of our showroom. We've just renovated a few years ago, and so we have everything is new and modern and clean. We carry a lot of manufacturers. This area here is all motorization. Well, I think it's really important for people to be able to touch and feel and see what it is that they're going to put in their home. It is. It's really nice to be able to see how it functions, listen to what the motors are like, know how it's going to fit within your window. That's the thing. You could tell me what it's going to look like and what the differences are, but if you can show me, so much better. That's so right. all of these could be motorized if you wanted. They are. Yes. They absolutely are. So when we're talking motorization, that could be on an app or on um, a panel on the wall, all those sorts of things. Correct. We have a remote control on its own or you can have it on the wall so that you just press the button on the wall and you're right having it on your app and your phone is always nice to use it that way too. are you seeing a lot more people use motorization in their applications now absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely especially now that it's come into effect that we can't have a lot of cords so that's right. one of the bylaws that you have to follow and for it. safety reasons exactly children pets those sorts of things we don't want anybody to choke no, we don't. Yeah, we want to have safety first, so motorization is lovely that way. And that's changed quite a bit too because you don't necessarily have to climb up, change batteries, all that kind of stuff. Correct, and it's very easy to do, especially with so much of the new build going on in town. What types of window coverings do you carry? Give us a little rundown. Well, we have all, everything that you can start from basic Venetians all the way up to custom Roman shades. Right. I love this style, the Roman shade. It's so beautiful because it's nice and soft still. Yes, they are beautiful. And it's lovely because you can customize them to however you want them made mm -hmm. and whatever fabric choice you want. That's the thing, because they both look so different here because of the fabrics that we've used. You're right, yeah. And we have hundreds of fabrics to choose from. Can we go look at some more? Yes. This certainly is a lot of fabrics. If I can't find what I'm looking for here, then I've got problems. Well, we can solve your problems because we also have lots of books to choose from. So any of the fabrics that you don't see in our gallery, mm -hmm. you'll probably be able to find in our books. So just depends what my application will be. Correct. We have everything for draperies as well as anything that you'd want to do upholstery with. This changes the look of the drape so much. 
Yeah, you can customize it to anything that you want by choosing which type of heading you want, whether you want it clean and modern or mm -hmm. whether you want to go with a traditional pleat. And when you say heading, you mean the pleats at the top. I do, yeah. The you top can also drink. customize with this amazing hardware. Yes, we have lots of options, whether it's manual or whether it's motorized as well. You your... can demotorize with the rods? Yes, with all your decorative hardware and you can choose how you want that to function. Mm -hmm. This drape that we have right behind you, just give that a little tug, Amy, and you'll see. I'm gonna break it. How oh, that wow. motorization with the ripple fold heading work. Ooh, that's smooth. Well, that closes this segment. Let's take a moment and talk about pulling together your space. I often have people ask me how a designer can make a space look so complete. One aspect that's often overlooked is lighting. There's so many different layers to your lighting and you have to pay attention to all of them. Task lighting is kind of the boring stuff that lights up the space and lets you do the work that you need to do in the room. But then it comes down to the accessory and the jewelry lighting. That could be a pendant, a chandelier, something kind of fun, table lamps, things that really add to the space and can create the moods. It's a great idea to have them on different switches so you can really change it up and create that look that you're going for. Have some fun with it. Hi, Amy. How are you doing? I'm good. Good to see you. I promise I was actually looking for you while I was okay. shopping. <laughs> we'll set that there for a second. Okay. <laughs> How's everything going here? This really store? well, actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We're we're uh, expanding quite well. We now have three stores in Victoria, and, and the been... locations are huge. You have so much to choose from here. Yeah, this is our largest location at 12,000 square feet, mm -hmm. and we bring a lot of our building and construction materials here because we have the extra height to do that. So, right. if you're looking to do that kind of project, this is the one to come to. So. Oh, I've got projects. Yeah. <laughs> so what can we expect here at the ReStore? Everything from furniture to appliances, home decor, housewares, and your construction materials, tools as well. Mm -hmm. um, so a wide range of product. Um, and whether you're purchasing or donating, every bit really goes to help Habitat for Humanity. Absolutely, it does. So all the funds that we raise support Habitat for Humanity here in Victoria and our local mm -hmm. build programs and uh, uh, support in the local community. So, so what would those programs look like? So we have uh, 11 homes in the pipeline at the moment. Wow. Um, which is great for us. And yes. we have to, up until now, build 22 in the local area. So yeah, so we build homes uh, for uh, families in need of affordable housing. Um, right. They're usually working families with children, doesn't mm -hmm. matter what the makeup of those families are. And right. to qualify for our program, they need to be within a, a certain income bracket um, mm -hmm. and commit to partnering with Habitat for Humanity. So right. all of our families, do 500 hours of volunteer service wow. with Habitat. And they're um, a huge part of the process. Absolutely, yeah, they really, really are. As volunteers, they, they form part of the 10,000 hours a year that we get from the community mm -hmm. and from our partner families, um, volunteering in our stores, volunteering at events for us, and helping mm -hmm. us get out in the community. So, yeah, it's really good. As a designer, I love to bring my clients here to look for new and interesting things because it's not always old stuff either and a lot of it are things that we couldn't find elsewhere. Yeah, that's absolutely right. So about half of the product that we sell is new and mm -hmm. comes from the business donors in, commun in the community. They're looking for an outlet for things that would otherwise potentially end up in landfill. So right, we so don't want to waste anything. Absolutely. So this is a really sustainable option for, mm -hmm. for local businesses if they have product that maybe it's out of date for them or mm -hmm. it's not something that that uh, that they can sell then this right. is a really good option often you never know what you're going to find here either and you have to grab it when you see it that's absolutely true that's the rule of the restore if you mm -hmm. see it you have to buy it then because our stock changes every day we have donations coming in every day so you never really know what you're going to find it's an always a new store and even if i don't necessarily need something if i come in i get inspired and then i have a project that i think i want to do yeah until I start it. <laughs> and on that note, I am going to go and do a little bit of shopping. Okay, have fun. Thanks. <laughs>
Go Global with Newport Realty and Christie's International. How about a tropical setting, year-round sunsets with a gentle trade breeze to keep you cool, and stunning beaches, lush rainforests, and even an active volcano? This is Kalua Kona on the Big Island of Hawaii. Prices have been relatively flat on the Big Island in the past year. The medium house price in North Kona is $645,000, with condo prices about $365,000. Find true paradise in this oceanfront cottage with vintage tiki bar on the first level. Enjoy ocean views from the two bedrooms with two full baths. This idyllic retreat is replete with unspoiled natural beauty, superb recreational amenities, and an alluring tropical lifestyle. Remember, it's customary to remove your shoes when you go into a home, so wear sandals that are easy to slip on and off. I'm Audra Poole, going global with Newport Realty, Christie's International. The showroom looks amazing. Oh, welcome, Amy. I'm glad you could come. This is our uh, showroom here for West Bay Mechanical. How long have you guys been around? Uh, well, we were established in 1972, uh, so we've been around for about 45 years now. Uh, we opened up the uh, new showroom here about uh, three years ago to uh, showcase our services and our products uh, to our clients to help them get a better understanding and a feel for the products that they may want to purchase from us. Your staff are so great at helping the clients really navigate through the process and figure out which products they need. Yeah, they're very knowledgeable staff. Uh, with the new rebates and uh, grant programs that are available, we find our clients need a little bit extra help navigating those programs. Well, that's enough talk. Let's take a little look around the showroom. Yes. Um, I would like you to show me and tell me what this contraption is. <laughs> Well, this is, uh, this is a really uh, interesting little uh, program that we've got here. So a lot of higher end homes and also commercial establishments have uh, hydronic heating. So we tried to showcase that to our clients here with uh, presenting them with a boiler, showing them a bit of the green technology that's out there with the Aquatherm product, which that's is this. this pipe. That's right, this piping is a fusion piping. There's no joints and such, it's all fused together. Less uh, leak issues that occur from that. And it's again, a much greener uh, product for the clients. So uh, we also show showcasing the different heating uh, systems that can be presented through from a boiler system in floor heating under oh, concrete I slabs. love it. So it keeps the feet warm, keep you yeah, warm. Yeah, and you get that line. even warm heat. Exactly, and they're also able to uh, um, work in conjunction with your domestic hot water. So here we're showcasing a hot water tank and the boiler uh, gives the heat and uh, all the energy it needs to uh, maintain the domestic needs for the home. That's great to really illustrate how that works. Yeah, exactly. These guys over here are really catching my eye. This yeah. is an electronic fireplace? Yeah, these are electronic fireplaces. We have showcase both gas and electrical fireplaces. Electrical ones seem to be a real up and coming thing that uh, clients this are looking for. This is stunning, for. it's beautiful. It is, the technology nowadays is uh, is far surpassed what it used to be. <laughs> uh, these uh, units here are a little are on the higher end of systems. They're designed to be installed and last for a much longer time than maybe some of your big box store units. Right, one thing that I love about the electric fireplaces as well is they can really be a feature in a space with the color changing and ambiance. Yes, yeah, Amy, this is, a, this is a really neat little product that we have. So in this application, we have it in a little insert or alcove for the right. client, uh, and then it allows you to, to choose uh, different colors and such for the fireplace. So we can change the flame pattern, we can change it into different colors, uh, and the background as well is all um, changeable oh, cool. as well. So really it gives the client you know, a change of uh, decor <laughs> really without having to change anything. Just change a few little colors and uh, it updates the space. And then you also offer lots of gas fireplaces gas as fireplaces, well. Gas fireplaces, most uh, most definitely. Mm -hmm. Gas fireplaces are, are very efficient nowadays. Right. There's inserts, there's zero clearance units, so there's a multitude of fireplaces that are available to meet basically all the customer's needs. Absolutely, to get the look that they want. And... Exactly, exactly. What are these units? These are what we call ductless heat pumps. They're okay. uh, really the up and coming thing. So for a lot of homes that are looking to be retrofitted, and that means they're upgrading their current heating system, maybe from electric baseboard or from oil. Mm -hmm. They provide this type of an option, which uh, doesn't need duct work. Right. You can put them into either one large room or you can put them into individual rooms. Yeah. They have separate controls that you can control them individually. Mm -hmm. So they really give the clients a high efficiency option to uh, you know curve their heating costs nowadays. Speaking of curve, I love the look and design of yeah. this one. These, uh, this Aurora series, it's a, it's a really neat little unit. It comes in the silver and also comes in a white uh, application and mm -hmm. it uh, really gives a little bit of um, 
you know, new modern style to the traditional boxy style. Right, which are, are they're great too. They are a great little unit for sure. Yeah. Tankless water. Tankless water tanks, mm -hmm. yes. They're again something that our clients have been asking for a lot these days. They bring the hot water to uh, again a higher uh, level of technology. They provide an endless hot water for the client at a fixed volume. So right. uh, they're a really good option. Um, when they're not being used, they're not using any energy. So their life expectancy is 20 years compared to a standard hot water tank, which has a hot water tank warranty of eight years. So, mm -hmm. you know, you're gonna replace a typical hot water tank two and a half times the right. same time that you would do a continuous tankless hot water tank. Hmm. What are we looking at here? Oh, here we're looking at a standard central heating system. So we have a mm -hmm. gas furnace that uh, is operational and we can show the clients how it works. On top of that is a case coil which allows the client to add air conditioning or a heat pump to that uh, system. Right. And beside that we have uh, an air handler. So if you don't have natural gas or you want to just go all electric, all green, mm -hmm. then we have that option to provide for the home as well. Mm -hmm. uh, both Rheem and Lennox are products that we are affiliated with through Costco. So oh. our Costco clients uh, come to us mm -hmm. and we present the central heating system with the uh, Lennox uh, multitude of products and the Rheem product again with all their multitude of hot water tank options. Well, you know me, I kind of like fancy stuff. So looking at the gas fireplace, I mean, okay, yeah, this one is a great example, guys. This is my style. I love it and it's not even hot. This is a this is a really interesting little unit. It's a zero clearance unit, uh, modern as you can see, and uh, what it is is it's a cool touch unit. So oh. it allows the clients to put uh, a fireplace in that they want to um, showcase the flame but they may not want the heat. Right. So um, things like convention centers or uh, wedding venues where the client would like to have a fireplace working in the middle of the summer, then we have that yeah. option available to you. Yeah. What's really neat of course is, is that we can change the ambiance again of the rock Yes. So through just changing the switch details like you've been doing that, Amy, we can do is customize the color of the rocks to tie in with, let's say, the wedding venue colors, whether right. it's blue or purple or such. Or... Exactly. So <laughs> it really uh, um, gives that bride and groom, you know, that added sense of being their day and being special for them. Well, you guys are so fancy. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. You're welcome. Us. Thank you very much for coming. Thank mm -hmm. you.